we, there's a theme across all the virtual classes. So even if you're taking the circuit class or um, Pilates or yoga, there's a theme. Um, so this week, the theme is balance. I'm so excited. Oh. <laughs> um, I was waiting for this one. So um, we're, we're going to do the same things that we normally do, but I'm going to just add a couple of things here and there. Some of them are really familiar to you. Um, I've done them in the past. I'm going to bring them back a little bit, but I think it's exciting to really focus on balance. Hopefully one of the things that I bring to my balance class is an awareness of how you live your life in your home, that you're uh, aware of things that can cause, um, you know, a big thing behind my balance is fall prevention, that, um, that you're aware of things in your home, safety issues when you're walking outside. Posture is a good thing to make sure you can see where you're going, you're not looking down on your knees. As Sarah told me the other day, stepping in and out of a car, that you're not, um, that you can do that, you know. Um, so that awareness is one of the biggest things for me. And my class is focused on strength and balance. And, but there are other things like um, um, Tai Chi, that's very good for balance. But I have to go with my background, which is strength and working with seniors, um, work doing a lot of balance. So with that, we're going to get started. And um, so, I, so I love chatting with you guys. So I, I like Zoom because we can chat. So anyway, let's get up and we're going to start off with our regular um, Maybe she warm up. Read everything. One little thing at the um, end of the warm up, just um, a little bit of eye coordination exercise, very simple. So let's start off by marching slowly. You can bring your feet up as high as is comfortable for you, but it shouldn't be too high. We're going to do that a little bit in a, uh, a, few, a few seconds. So take that march out a little bit wider and bring it back in. Now bring your knee up a little higher. Opposite hand to knee. And then let's just do a front kick. By the way, there's construction going on outside my window again. So hopefully you can hear me over the noise. Right now it's a little quiet. Yeah, it's hard to hear you. But there, it's gonna get it's gonna get um loud again, I imagine. Okay. I'll do a toe tap in the front. And a rock in place. Just moving on your feet, moving your body, opening your arms wide to warm up your shoulders, your chest, your upper back. And take that up into a calf raise for five, four, three, two, and one. And then let's do some kickbacks with some rows. Getting your mid back warmed up, your glutes, hamstring. And let's change to our hip circle. We're gonna to go to the right for five, four, three, two, and one. And to the left for five, four, three, two, and one. And shoulder rolls forward for five, four, three, two, and one, and to the back for five, four, three, two, and one. And let's pay attention to our posture. So your feet are down on the floor, hip width apart, point and forward. You're standing up nice and tall. Plumb line pulling you straight up, one hand behind your head, the other in your chin. Push your chin into the back of your hand. 
your chin is parallel to the floor, your shoulders are down and relaxed, your ears are right over your shoulder, over your hips, over your knee, over your ankle. So belly button pulls in nice and tight and your shoulders are relaxed. So in this position, just we're just gonna do some eye tracking. So your um, belly button's tight and you're solid into the ground. Um, hands out in front of you. And you're just gonna open your hand to one side and to the other. And this is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And we're gonna do this again, but this time your head is gonna follow your hand. So you're gonna go one, look over my, looking over my right hand, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And that's very simple, but it helps your eye tracking where your body's going and um, with coordination. So let's do that one more time. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And shake it out. And let's do our sit to stand. Just regular sit to stand. Your feet should be about shoulder width apart, sitting comfortably on a chair, still paying attention to your posture. Belly button pulled in, shoulders down. The first set, we're gonna use our arms. One, and sit nice and softly in the chair. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And let's um, do some point and press. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And for the second set of six to stand, I'm gonna take my hands out of the equation by crossing them across my chest. You can do that also, but do what is safe and comfortable for you. So sit it up nice and tall. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And let's sit down for some more ankle and footwork. So circle out for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and circle in for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. So let's stand up. 
We're going to do squats with um, calf raises, and then we're going to add at the end of the two sets um, a little bit of shift and balance exercise. So um, let's start off with our squats. So your feet should be about at least shoulder width apart or a little bit wider. Um, do what is comfortable for you. I'm going to do it sideways so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to use my arms as a counterbalance and you go as low as it's comfortable for you. You want to make sure your feet are flat on the ground, you're put, the weight is on your heel, and as you go down and come up, you can track your knees. Belly button pulled in. Two, you're looking up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So let's do some calf raises and heel rocks. So we're going to go up on our toes and rock back on our heels. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And let's shake it out a little bit. Ready for the second set? I'm going to do this one facing you this time. So, feet about shoulder width apart or a little bit wider. One, chest nice and high. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And last set of calf raises and heel rocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, shake it out. So let's do, we're going to do it facing both sides. So you're on a little bit of a diagonal and it's like moving back and forth on your feet without picking your feet up. So let's do this for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. So this is teaching us how to shift our weight. So what we want to do for the second set, if you're comfortable, pick your back leg up and pick your front leg up. So make sure you're within arm's reach of your chair if you need to hold on. So we're going to do 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And by the way, if that is too hard for someone, you can even just do a toe on the ground as you go back and forth. Do what is comfortable and safe for you. So, of course, we're going to do it in its opposite. I'm going to have my um, left foot in front now because I don't think find that some things are easier on one side and difficult on the other side. So, we have to practice going both ways. So, we're going to do just 10, just shifting with that, picking your feet up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And now we're going to pick our feet up, or just a toe on the ground, arms reach of your chair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And as you can see, I had a little bobble on that first one. So shake it out a little bit. And we're going to do side leg lifts and rear leg lifts. From, we're going to keep on the rear leg lifts that last rep we're going to hold for 10 count, like we, as we did in the um, isometrics class last week. So hold it off if you need to, one or not, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten and let's turn to the side and one two three four five six seven eight nine and 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And shake it out. You actually do feel that in the standing leg, not necessarily the one that you're holding up. All right, let's do the other side. 1, 2, 3, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And we're like this. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And I think I need a little break for the second set. So one of the things I meant to mention to you before, there are many things that can cause imbalance. Some of it is just the aging process. Some of it is eyesight. So if you haven't had your vision checked in a while, some of it is um, your vestibular system, which is your part of your ears. I'm not gonna go into much detail. So if you haven't had your ear hearing checked in a while, that's something you should check out. So um, those are just a few of the things that cause imbalance are um, increases your risk for fall. And so let's do our second set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine and ten. And rear leg lift. So contract your legs as you go back and release. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, and ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And let's move over to the other side. So by the way, in both exercises, the stand and leg, the leg that's not moving, shouldn't be locked up. Your knee shouldn't be locked up. It should be a soft knee. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And stand it up back and tall. Last set of rear leg lifts. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And I'm happy to say that we have a break from hips and glute work. And we're going to do something seated. We're going to work on our upper body. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to do the W, scapular retraction. So your elbows at your side. You're not going to let your arms slide up. Your hands are about chest height. And you're going to pull open and squeeze your shoulder blades together. That's 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And let's do some chest press. If you don't have weights or a uh, band, you can do both of these exercises without. So. Elbows are about shoulder height or a little bit longer, and your hands are chest height. You're going to press forward for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, <clears throat> excuse me, 4, 3, 2, and one, and let's just shake our shoulders out, quick shoulder stretch. And we're gonna do a second set. So, I'm sorry, the second set I wanna do as a T. So my hands are at straight shoulder height, and I'm just gonna pull out to the side, keeping my hands straight and squeeze my scapula together. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And Hands under your arm. Last set of chest press. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And let's put the fans off to the side and we're going to do stepping over to sleeping dog. So you know this is a great exercise for, it's an uh, exaggerated lunge, so you're getting a lot of lower body work. And you, since you're moving a lot, you should feel your heart rate go up a little bit. It's good for getting in and out of the bathtub, getting in and out of a car. So 
It's a wonderful exercise. So I'm going to start off on five, you can do ten, alternated five in front. Um, so let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. And when you hold on to the chair, you don't have to hold on for your life. Just a fingertip or two will give you a great deal of stability, but do what is safe for you. So starting off from the side, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And Supersetting this with tandem stance and lateral raise. So as I say every week, if you can't touch your heel to your toes, then you can have offset it a little bit off to the side or a little bit more space front to back. Do what is comfortable and safe for you. Posture really helps. And we're gonna do 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And let's do our second set of sets that go with see the dog. And this time I'm going to start in front. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten. This also helps you step over puddles or you know big snow banks whenever we have snow a uh, snowstorm again. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And our second set of lateral raises and tandem stance. So now I'm having my left foot in front. Standing up nice and tall, belly button open. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And ten. And let's take a break from the lower body intensive work and work on some specific balance things. So the first thing we're going to do is the tandem walk. You can do it straight out, heel toe, a little bit of space between your 
heel and your toe or off to the side. Um, I'm going to do it with a high knee. It's a little bit more challenging if you need to hold on. I'm going to do a five step front and five step back. So make sure you're within arm's reach of your chair. So one, two, three, four, and five, and five going back. One, two, three, four, and five. And I forgot to tell you, you should be looking at your knees while you're doing this. So I'm only going to do one set because I have a third exercise in this routine today. So standing nice and tall, we're going to do braided, which is similar to a grapevine, much smaller. You're going to do your foot over the other one, front to back. So my right foot's over my left, right foot behind, right foot in front, not down at your toes, right foot behind, and right foot in front. Let's go back with the left foot behind, left foot in front, left foot behind, and left foot in front. And let's do that one more time and face this way. So, left foot in front, left foot behind. Left foot in front. Actually, that was left foot behind. Now left foot in front. And let's go back. Right foot in front. Right foot behind. Right foot in front. And right foot behind. So we've done this before, but it's been quite a while since I did this. This is another shift in exercise. This is called rocking the boot. Make sure you're within and arms reach of your chair. We're standing right in the center now. And then I want to move over to one side. Let's just do a set without taking our feet off the ground. We're just going to do 10 and shift into the middle, off to the other side. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten and now let's do a set with taking your feet off so one you shift most of your weight to one leg two three four five six seven eight nine and and we're going to do that one one more time. So if it's too hard to take your feet off and balance, even just a toe as, you, as if you're in a kickstand position on the ground will help from side to side. So let's do that one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And I actually have one more exercise we're gonna do. Um, we did it last year a lot, and I'm bringing back the clock. So you're standing in the middle of the clock. I'm gonna change it slightly. Instead of um, stepping over, we're gonna hold on if you need to. And I'm just gonna call out a few numbers on um, with your left foot on the ground and your right foot up. And you're gonna to try to go towards that number, but you're not touching down. If you can do it with that, hold it on. I'm only gonna do about four or five. So at 12, three, six, 11, and two. See, I have to hold on a little bit. Let's switch legs and try that. So six, Nine, 12, and move it over, three, and 10. And shake it out. Let's try that one again. On the, I mean, my left leg's on the ground, my right foot. 10, 
two, six, and three. And switch over to the other leg. 12, six, nine, and three. All right, let's move on. So I'm gonna do, we have done side lunges. I did them in the fall a great deal. So we are gonna do them again today. So I just wanna review. So side lunge, you're gonna step off to the side and back. Step off, pushing your hips back as far as it's comfortable for you. The leg that's staying on the floor is straight. You're not locking your knee up, but it's straight. Your chest is up and back. We're going to add a variation after the first set to your stepping over, bringing your knee up without touching down and back. So let's do the first set with. Um, with stepping over. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. nine and ten and switch over to the other side and one two three four five six Seven, eight, nine, and ten. And before we get to the second set, let's do um, bicep curls with a slow march. Standing nice and tall. And I have my left arm up with my right knee. One, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And put the weights off to the side. And let's do the second set with the knee up. So once again, you're stepping up off to the side, pushing your hips back, chest up, and knee without touching down, you're stepping over again. So if that is hard, do the first set. Um, do what is safe. So one, two, or hold on if you need to, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And for those of you who may have hip issues, you could just do a big step over without pushing your hip back and in, or a big step over and in. So it's your workout. <laughs> So let's do the last set. I'm sorry, I'm starting the wrong way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and 10. And for me, I found this side going um, off on my left leg is the harder side for me. So I'm gonna have my, for well, there's bicep curls and high knees, my 
started this time with my right knee up, left arm, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And let's move the weights off to the side. We're gonna do high knees. And I'm not gonna surprise you this week by telling you to hold it with a um, twist. And uh, I'm sorry, high knee with a twist. Um, and we're supersetting that with um, tricep extension. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And once again, if you have spinal issues, you don't have to do the twist. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And tricep hip backs. So bend at your knee and bend the hip forward a little bit. Your back should be nice and flat. Your head is in line with your back. Elbows up and extend back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And let's do our second set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Sorry, I think I speeded that up a little bit. Great. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And for the last set of triceps, we're gonna do the pulses like we did last week. So you're still bent at the knee, Bend forward a little bit at the hips. Your hands behind you, palms facing away from you. We're just going to pulse that for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And the last thing we're going to do before stretch is a single leg stance. So notice a lot of the exercises we've done we've been on one leg. You know, every time you're on one leg, you're in an unstable position. So you have to learn how to control it. So now this is the final, final unstable. Um, so one leg up, I'm gonna do it in front, 10 count. If you can't do that, you can do a kickstand or just a fingertip on the chair. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And shake it out for a couple seconds. And the other way. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
and one. And I just need a sip of water before we sit there to stretch. My favorite thing. So one leg out. You're secure in a chair, one leg out. Your foot is flexed. If you can reach your foot, just bring your toe towards your face. If not, try to keep it as flexed as possible. We're getting a calf stretch and a hamstring stretch. And switch sides. As you lean forward, you're not rounding your back. And your belly button still together nice and tight. And sit up. So we're doing a hip stretch. You can cross your leg over your shin if that is the easiest for you, or across the other top of the other leg, or you can do a figure four stretch. Push gently on the inside of your knee and then move forward. And the other leg. And let's stretch our lower back. So just lean forward, your back is still nice and flat, your bum button is in. Now walk your hands over to one foot. And then move forward to the other. Let's do a seated hip flexor stretch. Okay, so one leg across the front of the tree, the other one back. You're pushing that hip forward. That same side, your arm goes up and you turn forward to that. And switch over to the other side. Push that hip forward, arm up, turn it towards the back of the chair. And stand up. And hands on the seat of the chair. Feet right under your hips, push your hips back. Get a good posterior stretch, especially in the back and your feet. And roll up, stretch your shoulders. Switch sides. Do our next stretch. I'm turning to my way, looking straight ahead. And now I'm looking down. Up and over to the other side. Look down. And Roll our shoulders forward for five, four, three, two, and one, and back for five, four, three, two, and one, and end with posture. Your feet parallel, about hip width apart, standing nice and tall, plumb line pulling straight up, one hand behind your head, the other on your chin. Push your chin straight back into your head, your chin is parallel. Your ears are over your shoulder, your shoulders are over your hips, your hips are over your knees, hips are over your ankles, belly button nice and tight, and your shoulders are down and relaxed. Thank you guys so much. It was great to see some new and old faces. And